Now let's talk about boxes. There's a couple of ways that you can add a box to your page. Now for those fluent in HTML, just a small note, a box is equivalent to a div. So what kind of boxes can we add to the template? Well, first of all, there's the ever powerful positioned box. The position box is basically a free floating place it wherever you want box and it is not affected by anything else on the page. It's positioned with absolute values. So if I move the box to somewhere, even if I had text going to that location, it would not affect it. It would just appear on top of it. Now a box can be styled just like any other element on the page. If you right click on it and you click on box, then you have the ability to format it any way you want. So I can add a background. I can change the spacing. I can add a border. And that changes the actual properties of the box. Of course, I can add text into the box, which will obviously only work if my text is in white. And of course, I can have as many boxes as I want. and insert things like images. Now, quick warning, boxes, especially position boxes, are not compatible with email uh, templates or email contexts. So you have to replace that with tables uh, in order to do any sort of positioning. The other type of box that we can add is an inline box. The inline box is basically floating to the left or to the right of text. So anything that you add inside the box and then resize it, it will always leave the text outside of it. So text floats around it and you can align it to the left or to the right, or you can tell it not to float at all which means it will appear before all the text or after, depending on where you place it. You can also rotate the box by 90 degree increments. Now, the last thing that you can do is wrap any element that you have inside of a box. So if I select, say, one or more paragraphs, and I click on Wrap in Box, what it will do is wrap a div around all of the selected elements. Now, by default, it doesn't do much except to uh, apply spacing and margins. That's by default in boxes. But if we right click on it and go in its properties, then we can actually make this box any type that we want. So we can have it um, absolute making it basically a position box. Or we can make it float to the right or the left. And that's pretty much all we have to show on boxes.